Okay, here's a tricky example when it comes to averages. So we're given some numbers, but we're not given others. And we're given a little bit of information about them. We have to try and find out the missing numbers here. So the mode of these six numbers is four. That means the most frequent number is four. We only have one of four currently, which means surely we have to have another. So we know that one of these unknowns is going to be four. So that makes life a little easier for us. So let's say that one is four. Obviously these numbers aren't in order, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, what is this other number here? It could be another four, because we can have three fours, that's not a problem. But it can't be a five, a six, or a three, because that would mean four is not the most anymore. There would be an equal number of fours and something else. So, we're told the mean is five. Now, what does that mean? That means that when we add all of these numbers together and divide by six, the answer is five. So, what must that total be? What number, when we divide by six, gives us five? 30. 30 divided by six equals five. So, we now know that these numbers have to add together to make 30. So, what do they make at the moment? Well, four plus five is nine plus 4 is 13, plus 6 is 19, plus 3 is 22. So to get to 30, we need another 8. So when we add these numbers together and divide by 6, we get 5. And that's it.